Welcome back to Disabled and Prepping. I figured while I was using my little tablet here, and my LCD writing tablet, that I would show you how it works. So this is what it looks like when you've written on it, but I'm going to unlock it, um, which is on the back, right up here, there's a lock and unlock button. So I just unlocked it, and then I press this top button, and it erases it. I'm going to lock it again, so when I write on it, I don't accidentally uh, erase anything. So then, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Um, so you just write on it, like, one of those old-time boards that I used to have when I was a kid, and it had a peel-up sheet with a pen. Um, it's just plastic, and you can just write anything you want. So, like... I'm trying to do this through a screen. I should, should do it this way. So you can just write beef, um, chicken. The list was from before was um, I was doing some organization. So, and then let's see, you know, K Bear stuff. Oops, stuff. <laughs> Bill. Those are F's. Bad, bad writing. But I keep looking through the screen and it messes up what I'm doing. And then, you know, you just want a little smiley face or something. That's how it writes. Um, you can even in locked, seeing that it's locked, you can... Um, it just won't erase, but you can write on it. So, like, if you, like, go to wipe something up, you know, go to wipe something that happened to be on it or you... Um, take it out of my back. You know, like if I take it out of my backpack, it could, you know, make these little marks of scratching or something on it. So it's it's when you when it locks, it's not that you can't write on it or it can't be messed up. It just can't be erased. So um, so keep that in mind if you happen to get one. Um, even though it's locked, it still is can be written on or your list could be messed up. It just can't be erased. So then you just snap in the pen down here, the little writing tool, and then, like I said, if you want to erase it, you just unlock it on the back with uh, the little switchy thing. These are just to uh, set on the table, I guess, so you don't scratch up a surface. And then you just push the little, oops, I must have locked it. And then you just push the button and it erases again. So that's how that works. Um, you can. Oh, okay, there was those marks that I used, um, so I just wiped it off. Must be a little dusty. Um, so that's how that works. It's really simple. Um, you can do. You can write anything on it. You can use it. I use it sometimes for stress, and I just grab the pen. And sometimes I just scribble if I'm stressed out. I just scribble or you doodle, you know. Sorry, concentrating, writing through the screen, uh, looking through the screen to write it. So you know, you just, you can do anything you want with it, and then you know, unlock it and erase it, and it goes for I don't know. I think they said thousands of times. You can replace the battery replacement is right here. Ooh, sorry, that's close. Um, you just take out the little tiny screw. So you're gonna need like a an eyeglass screw to undo that and get that to come out. But other than that, it's just basic. Um, these don't do anything. These are just so you can set it on a table. Um, the pen is contained. The the writing instrument they call it a pen, but um, it's just all plastic. It stays in the tablet, so you can tip it upside down, shake it. It's not going to come out. Um, let's see. Yeah, it says it saves papers up to 100,000 times. Um, probably even more. It does have um, a lanyard hole up here, so like if your kid wants, if you don't want to keep it by your kid, 
um, I think this would be great for uh, either children or um, adults that have other disabilities where they have a hard time communicating. It's a um, easy way for them just to write it down, show it, and then you know, they can erase it right away. Um, or if you have anxiety and you're out in public and you need help and it's sometimes hard to, you know, communicate what you need. You can, and you may be able to write it down better. Um, I have a friend that's very terrified of going out into the public. She doesn't like shopping, but, uh, she said if she had one of these and she's thinking about getting one, she can just write what she needs down, show it to somebody, and then they can direct her to where it is. She doesn't have to actually talk to them. So, it, I mean, there's, I'm sure I could think of even a lot more reasons to have one of these besides what I'm going to use it for. So, there it is. Um, any other questions? Um, I will see if I can answer them. I will do my best to answer the questions to that. It does take a 3V battery, um, like one of those little watch batteries, I guess. Um, the, the coin cell battery lasts up to 20,000 erases before it probably, it, before it needs to be replaced. Um, it is extremely lightweight. It is, uh, they say it's durable construction, perfect for all ages. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely going to come in handy for me. So there you go. Care Bear is sleeping on her cooling mat. She had fallen asleep as soon as I put it down uh, to do a video with it, uh, which you will see it sometime. Um, and she put her head on it and fell right to sleep. <laughs> do you see her little tongue? Here, I'll zoom in. See her tongue sticking out? <laughs> I finally got her to not catch me taking a video of her sleeping so she's enjoying the fan I got a box fan in the window it's cool today the next few days it's supposed to be get really hot so seeing that it's been cool I didn't have her cooling pad out because she hasn't been wanting it um, but I know it's gonna be getting hot for the next few days so I brought it out um, and I did a video on it you'll be seeing that one shortly but look at her she's so cute She's dreaming. Look at the little tongue sticking out. It's so cute when she does that. Alright, I'm going to let you go. God bless everybody. Um, stay safe. May God bless you to overflowing. And may he keep each and every one of you safe. Bye for now.